Welcome back to Life is Hard TV, the life show for the rest of us. Glen Rose Spirit Shop, Monroe, Connecticut. Here again with Larry Cass. Today he's, the, first of all, happy St. Paddy's Day. And uh, as you can tell, March 17 coming up soon. It's, uh, it's fitting because we're, we're going to be talking about some Irish, uh, Irish stuff. And uh, one thing that Larry and I have in common, you know, is the Red Sox hat, the Bruins hat. We'll get we're, a couple hit, couple hits for that. We're excited about baseball season here in New England. We're we're kind of in Yankee country, which is uh, disturbing tough. a little bit. But hey, we'll, we'll get by. We can do it with our Irish whiskey friends. Excellent. So today it's Irish whiskey. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Let's talk to Larry and see what we have here. All right. Well, thanks for coming over, Dave. Anytime. Uh, we're gonna just go right through. We're gonna go with our most famous Jameson. Everybody knows Jameson Irish whiskey, triple distilled. And uh, Roy triple distilled. What's that tell me? Distilled three times. All right. They also have a special reserve, 12 year old. Uh, so they're actually aging it like a single malt, which is kind of cool. Uh, so they can't really lie about that. Right next to it, Red Breast, another 12 year old. Uh, great, great producers out in Ireland. We're going to zip on over to Bushmills, another very, very famous uh, Irish whiskey. That one's triple distilled. And then they take their Black Bush uh, Irish whiskey. And this is actually taken into sherry casks. So it's been six months, maybe a year, in sherry casks. Just imparting some nice vanilla notes, some beautiful tones to it. Okay, here's yeah. where I could maybe ask a question because I think Please. when you're talking about Jameson, I thought of it. Blended versus single malt, the 12 year old's a single malt, the Jameson? Uh, nope, this is a blend. Okay, yep. what's the difference between a blend and a single malt? I've heard people, you know, people who are Scotch connoisseurs, so to speak would only ever drink single malt. Well, because it's coming from one particular area. You know, the beauty of blending, and, uh, uh, the beauty of single malts, you know, I got two that I was saving up here in Napo Castle, 1995, uh, it was put in the bottle. This is just picked from one single malt, one area, one single malt, Then we've got our friendly neighborhood Bushmill, also single malt Irish okay. whiskey. So, so I guess it's it's accurate to say it's typically better than a blend, or maybe it's just taste? Uh, could be taste, could be particular, you know, like when scotches, you come from different areas in Scotland. So they like a single malt that comes from, let's say, the Highlands, or a single malt from the Lowlands. Yeah. They like that style. I see, right, right. Blended, they can pick it from anywhere in Scotland, put it together, and... So in terms of wine, similar to wine, it's a grape from a vineyard Great analogy. versus a blend of different types of grapes or right. whatever. If it says California on the label, it can come from anywhere in California. If it just says Napa, it can come from just okay, Napa. Okay, good. That explains it. All right, great. All right. Great. So as we were going along here, we did our 12-year-olds, we did our traditional, we did our Bushmills. A new one, and don't get offended, it's feckin' good. <laughs> feckin' Irish whiskey. Um, the one that I used down at the Black Rock Castle was Powers. We had to use Powers. Triple distilled. This is a, one of the best Irish whiskeys on the market. Keep going along. A couple of newcomers here to the store and to the state. Mary's Irish whiskey and Patty's. Patty, uh, Patty did such a good job. He would go around and uh, this was from an old distillery. He kept going around. His first name was Patty. And they kept ordering. The bars kept saying, well send me another case of Patty's. This wasn't the name. They, they had changed the name almost a hundred years later because okay. they kept ordering Patty's Whiskey. Tullamore Dew, another triple distilled, probably, uh, you know, in the top three. Jameson, Bushmill, Tullamore Dew as far as popularity, smoothness, character, texture. And then we've got some of the little sleepers that we bring in. Here's an Irish Whiskey for under 20 bucks. Wow. You know, you really can't beat the quality. Uh, we're in a global market now. I mean, you probably see it. You can shop for anything now, online, wherever you want. And, uh, you know, prices have come down substantially. Kilbegan, awesome distillery out there. Uh, another one of the more popular ones. Then I finished with, like you were saying, between the, the blends and the single malts, Michael Collins. That's a blended whiskey. So I think the most fitting way to end this is maybe just a uh, little cheers to St. Patrick.
Absolutely. What do you think? After all, it's uh, close to St. Patty's Day. It's the weekend, and uh, our work is done. All right. There's no better way than to share a nice little Irish whiskey with a friend. And uh, welcome back to Glen Row. Great to be here. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. See you soon. Has to be nothing less than ten. If it says ten, it's ten. It's not a. It's not a, a Solera style where you blend different barrels in an average age of ten. Hopefully that wasn't caught on camera. Hopefully that wasn't caught on camera.